Group mode, toggled via the one key by default, is basically just the outliner with very specific settings that ensure you only see group empties and nothing else. Entering this mode will now also change the group selection behavior. For instance, it will disable group auto select, recursive select, as well as group empty hiding. And in the add-on prefs, you can configure exactly what group mode does and doesn't do now. With these changes, you can reparent an item, like this side of the palm, to another part, and you'll immediately see the change in parenting visualized. It's instantly clearer that the relationship has shifted and how. And let's do it for this side of the palm too. When you exit group mode now, everything will return to how it was before. Outliner visibility settings, as well as group selection behavior. As you can see, all the objects are back again now. Group mode is super useful, also for just renaming of groups. There's also a new parenting button in the outliner header now, meant to give you a visual indication if the outliner actually does show parented hierarchies at all. I prefer toggling it via the four key map, but a visual indication is nice to have, in particular if you show object contents in the outliner, which makes parenting less obvious. Personally, I prefer my outliner not to show object contents these days, just to cut down on visual clutter. However, with object contents shown, you can now immediately tell if parenting is displayed or not. And of course, you can toggle it from here too, without having to dive into the drop-down menu.